Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm doing another of my um, Butlins Bogner Regis UK holiday pictures. I found it such a fascinating place to see. I saw so many people there, old, young, young families, children. I thought I'd paint a typical family, a dad who was a bit tired, who'd bought his son an ice cream, who was sitting next to him, and a mum who was attending the baby in, um, well, that's meant to be a stroller. I didn't do a very good job of the stroller. I, I wasn't quite sure how they were configured, and um, this looks a little flat, doesn't it? Never mind, perhaps I'll get it right next time. So I did my sketch on tracing paper and then transferred it to 140 pound watercolour paper. And um, I'm using watercolours. And the first thing I did was a sky with a blue, which I can't tell you the name of, the paint's so old. And I blotted out the clouds with wet paper towel. Then I did some greenery. The landscaping around the park was beautiful, almost subtropical. It was so lovely. I'm starting with a mid-tone green. I'm not very proficient in watercolour, um, so I don't get the subtleties of it. But I try to paint a mid-tone throughout so that I can add shadow. Highlights, I tend to leave the white if I remember to do that. And here's the painting almost finished. I still have the ground and the bench to do and the tree trunk. Um, but as you can see, I'm sort of following this mid-tone idea. Here's the finished painting with the shadow on the people and on the tree trunk, a little color on the ground and the bench. I did a brown, although actually I believe they were gray benches in the park. Here's the painting with the tape off. I usually tear my watercolour paper. I like the um, sort of rough decal edges and um, then I tape to give me an outline, a border. I like that effect and here it is in my journal. I put all my watercolour pictures in my journal. It's a good way of storing things. It's, um, it's a convenient way of storing small watercolour things otherwise they tend to get lost don't they? The whole thing is outlined in a micron pen number three and I feel that gives definition. It sort of punches the picture up a little, I don't know. Um, but I like the effect anyway of watercolour and pen. I, I think it gives me something I'm happy with, something I'm proud to put in my um, journal. And I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you to all of you who've already done that. It does help my channel grow and I'm eternally grateful for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.